Hey guys, all the Small Town Critics Podcast. Welcome back. I'm one third of the Small Town Critics. My name's Mo. Kim. Okay. Now Hashi. And guys, we have a very special guest. If you've been following Small Town Critics, you'd know that we kind of we're covering the UK Muslim Film Festival. Uh partnering off with UK Muslim Film, the Muslim International Film Festival, excuse me. And we ha- one of our guests is been working with UK Muslim Film. Uh, I'll let you introduce yourself properly. But we have Hadid in the building who we've been working very closely with. Thank you for having me. No worries, man. Thank you for coming. Hadid, what is your position in UK Muslim film, all of that stuff? How did you, like, what, what's, what, yeah, what's your position? Um, so with UKMF, I, I, I'm essentially in charge of their social media. Yeah. But um, I've been around since 2019, I want to say. Yeah. Um, I was in my third year of uni and um, I, I was doing my dissertation and I was doing it on Muslims and Islam in film and TV. Yeah. Um, and through someone I had met during work experience over the summer in 2019, they, um, I spoke to them about, uh, about the dissertation and they gave me the email of Sajid Burda, who yeah. is uh, the founder CEO of UK Muslim Film. Um, and so I spoke to him. I spoke to him uh, later that year. And through that, um, lockdown hit straight in the middle of, of my uh, third year, yeah. Yeah. so uh, I was kind of stuck. But I, I, I got speaking to Sajid a lot during that time, and he just invited me on, and he 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 wanted some uh, he, he he wanted some help with it, and I was glad to do that. It gave me something to do, but at the same time, I feel like me and Sajid, um, we very much saw eye to eye on on all things Muslim in film. Yeah. Um, so it was an easy sort of merge in that sense and um I've, I've just been helping out ever since nice shout out to sajid man sajid, yeah, he's, 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 a, so, he's a stand-up yeah. guy honestly and yes. he was so welcoming to us yeah uh, when we when we i uh, obviously don't want to take but when we went to the um it was it was done in the lux odeon in west end yes yeah, absolutely it. fantastic spread the first the amazing, one ever as well yeah inaugural oh, missing international for, so yeah. for it to be the first one yeah. like you would expect a lot of like hiccups was, it was so smooth and so seamless everything was perfect yeah. it, it felt like they were running for at least 10 years it yeah. was that yeah. good to put it into perspective the bfi london film festival one of the longest running film festivals mm-hmm. has been running for n- near enough 68 years yeah. you know what i'm saying really yeah oh wow so they're, they're, they're literally doing their 68th one did you say 68 yes yeah, 68 <laughs> and for them to do their first one this year and for it to go as well as it did yeah and obviously Sajid Vada, who's, his role at Muslim Films, obviously founder and CEO, but he was also a festival director yes. for this festival as well. And for him to kind of coordinate all this stuff, it was just incredible. Like and we, we can't wait to have yeah, him on, by the way. We oh, can't wait to have, that goes without saying. 100%, yeah. like, obviously yeah, we'll Sajid, Muslim. like, it, um, when you're available, like, there's always space for you. Yes. But just to sort of echo what Hash said, is like, to be, to obviously to be the founder and CEO, that's, that's, that's a feat in itself. But then to be, a co- like, to coordinate and to direct it, that is a that is a lot of work because yeah. you need to know where everything's going. Budget, getting a programmer, people everything. to watch the films. Everyone knows he works so hard. I remember talking to D the last day. I was like, oh man, we're so tired. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Can't yeah. wait to go home oh, and oh, to I, sleep. I, I am fairly sure Sajid doesn't <laughs> sleep. <That's a> <laughs> you know what? That, that's cr- And you know what? Like, obviously everyone was amazing. Yeah. But I have to put a shout out to Kosada as well. Yeah, she us. was yes. on point. Yes. yes. She w- Literally, she was on point. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 but it, yeah. honestly, it was a fantastic event. Everyone, Christina, all yeah. of them, yeah. Sarkin, your technical Sarkin, Sarkin, lead, yeah. even a bit, a bit, a bit. Yeah. Everyone, them, everyone, she, she actually helped us in one of our interviews as well. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic, and like next year, I, I cannot Emma, wait. Emma, Christina as well, shout yeah, out to Emma. Exactly, Christina, shout yeah. out to them. I cannot wait to um, go again. It's yeah. just amazing. So, to yeah. Um, to people that don't know, because a lot of people might not know, what is UK Muslim film? So UK Muslim Film is a, it's a charity. Uh, we publicly launched in 2021. Yep. It was around a bit more before then, but uh, publicly in 2021. And essentially what we do, we're here to champion Muslim filmmakers, yeah. uh, both in front of the camera and behind the camera. Uh, we're here to change perspectives. We're here to challenge misconceptions about us that have been portrayed in, in film and TV. Um, a lot of what, or what we've done uh, it's branching out to different sort of events and things we do where we do consultancy on films and TV shows. Uh, the most recent one was Ghostbusters, yes. yep. uh, which was a big one. Um, 
we've also been doing, we, we, we did two networking events last year, uh, quite similar to the the BBC Writers Room one we had here at, yes. at MIF. Yes. Um, but we had two last year, uh, one here in London and one in Manchester. Nice. And the, um, those, I wanna say, when was it? It was January time and February time. But uh, those were pretty big for us as well. We've done a pop-up cinema in Birmingham, um, oh, and I'm trying to think. Well, uh, oh, well, we've done a, a, web, a webinar series as well. That's still ongoing, where we interview different uh, filmmakers. Yeah. And uh, uh, we did our last one was Munna, which was one of the short films that were shown yeah. at MIF. Um, so yeah, we've got just a range of things that we're doing uh, that involves Muslims in film. We're putting people into crew roles on the, on onto sets. Muna was one of them again. Yeah. Uh, where where just shout out um Warda Mohammed, yes. fellow Somali. Yeah. Got shout <laughs> out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was I I, th I think I think that's the range of it as yeah. of right now. Uh but it's a lot of consultancy, a lot of helping how people see us in film and T V. Um when did you say you publicly launched? Uh, 2021. 2021, yeah. It's such a short time. You guys have done so much. Yeah, really. so much. Like, yeah, it's pretty we, incredible. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, the whole team was just really put in a lot of, a lot of work. Uh, yeah, a lot of s a sleepless hours as well. It's just been, uh, well, everyone on the team, it's not a big team, but everyone on it is so dedicated to this cause yeah. Course, yeah. and what it means. Um, and of course, you, you got to see it as well firsthand yeah. Yeah. and just uh, something like Myth, um, it, it, it was very much needed. Yeah. I definitely, I, I was just going to echo that because I was going to probably interrupt you. I was saying this is definitely something that it's needed, it's needed, needed to be done a long time ago. It's just so good that Sajid was able to sort of put this together now again. Yeah, with COVID having ha happening, it would have probably done a bit earlier, but it's definitely needed. And again, when you're saying that you now you're in a consultant role in regards to a lot of these sort of projects that's coming up. It's great to show, um, Mus like Islam or Muslim um, filmmakers and people in regard, in, um, including in the the build up or, or the makeup of a movie, and having having somebody um, sort of rep good representation to to point out, okay, that is accurate, that's inaccurate, because there's one thing Sajid said in the, in the opening night, and the of his his time there was a lot of I don't think it was Sajid, but someone said basically there was on a movie shoot and there was, it was Asif Kapadi. Asif Kapadi. There was a um, they was basically wanted to uh, like a South Asian guy, and they was about to face paint, and he was White like, people, "Just yeah. give me a se give me a second. And he literally went outside and got two guys and said, "You don't want to be in a movie." Yeah, it's that simple. Yet though, even though it's that simple, there's been a massive bridge and there's massive bridge to gap for for so long yeah. and with with uh, an organization like this it's just only going to help the cause mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah it's pretty incredible it was it was a lot of I like even for me like as a muslim i was i was put on to a lot of muslim filmmakers that i never knew of before mm. a lot of yeah. muslim films actors and things like that it was pretty incredible we met such amazing people like oh, a lot of actors amir al-masri Yusuf Karkor, all of these people. He's a great top, he's an yeah. upstanding guy. He's Can such a nice guy. On. Cannot wait to have him on, guys. Such honestly. a nice guy. Oh my Incredible yeah. but, um Let's jump into it because yeah. I want to talk about, I've got my favourites of, obviously we'll, we'll jump in, but I've got my favourites of the, the event. I think, like, I'll be remiss to say, like, the selection of films were outstanding. They were, great. Oh, they were, they were incredible. And, they were incredible. like, the shorts programme. Yeah, I've never favorite. seen a shorts programme, like, so stacked up with film after film of an absolute high quality like i think the first night i think i was telling cam like these are, these these are all just bangers yeah. every single one of them <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? and like from a visual standpoint from a story standpoint yeah. it was just outstanding and right? we're not just saying this because we're muslim guys no, we, no, actually we're saying, we actually believe this yeah. Yeah. I'm saying, there wasn't a film where i was like i was like disappointed when it's, i came it's funny up. that you say that though because i feel like there was like this uh the, the, this feeling going into uh, going into myth especially from like a lot more of the general audience yeah. that came that when it came to muslim films mm. there was a low a low bar yeah. yeah and nobody expected such a high quality from yes. that you know uh, you think muslim in uh, yeah. uh, muslim films and you just think oh it's going to be uh, well, well you don't know what it's going to be but yeah. it's not going to be uh, it's going to uh, be a still film set in the middle east yeah. people will be wearing thobes yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, it was. <laughs> anyway, let's. Should we get into yeah, it? Can we get into it? <laughs> right. let, let, can we start with hounds? 
Yes, so open night. Yeah. Uh, let's not go through it because we're gonna have we're gonna obviously through it through. I don't know. Well, maybe talk about our favorites. And yeah, things. our favorite yeah. because we're gonna have we're gonna have a, a, a few guests on and we're gonna talk about their movie and stuff like that. So we will just talk about it. But Hounds, oh, fantastic Moroccan movie. Um, do we have the information? On who yeah, is? directed by Kamal Lazrak. Uh, it was the opening night film. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what way to open it? What a way to open it. That was li- the w- one word that I could use to describe this movie visceral yes a great word great word to describe yeah man there was a there was a there was a moment in, in this movie that you do not need visuals to to feel what's happening a yeah. chilling effect f- through your entire body and i was like and it was great because it was like it was the sign off mate that movie was incredible and I, again that film had such a simple premise mm. yeah such a simple premise and it's so true to life i think uh, a while ago someone said it's so much easier to kill a person than to bury a body, mm-hmm. you know, and to get rid of the body. And this film was only about trying to get rid of a body. Yeah. And it sustained a two hour runtime. Incredible film. It's like one of those films where you're like, if someone told you the premiere, like, what? Yeah. That's a film? Yeah. 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 And, and it just works on so many yeah. levels. And, and the whole kind of cultural background and kind of the social economic state of Morocco at that time, mm-hmm. just, you know what I mean? Just before the pandemic. Yeah. And I, think I was going to say the misconception of like, wh- whereas people would have looked at like Muslim, m- like Muslim on screen as either a terrorist or something like that, or very sort of very peaceful or unholy. This was gritty. It was yes. very down dirty. And there are a lot of like sort of elements in this movies that really lend, lends, um, appreciation to the religion as well mm-hmm. how how stuff were treated regardless of the circumstances yes it it was fantastic it was exactly. fantastic what, what, what do you think i i loved it because it, it, it was like it was very safety brothers so if you've seen yes yes, yes. yes. There was something very uncut gems <laughs> that's about a great it. comp man yeah but at the same time it was like uncut gems meets we could at Weekend at Bernie. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It, it was like the weirdest mix. Plus, like you're, you, you've got dashes of Islam in there, mm-hmm. yeah. and um, that that was one of my biggest takeaways from it. And it, it, it was the way that you go on this story, but they constantly folded in what the faith was. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're constantly like, for anyone who doesn't know the faith, they're going to be learning how we deal with death. Yeah. In 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 some regards, especially in. The, the more practical approach to it well once someone dies and you know the preparation washing. of the body yeah, yeah. exactly so like th- that that was a very unexpected element to the film that I was not expecting and I was I was pleasantly surprised that yeah. um, are we going into spoilers yeah, 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 yeah spoilers. You can do yeah. um, uh, as they go later on into the film um, as as the dad is becoming more guilty about it he's also becoming more religiously guilty yes. yeah. about the whole thing and um and so and so he starts to, uh, he, he reckons a lot of the bad luck comes from the fact that they haven't even washed the body and yeah. they're not they're not they're not getting rid of the body properly yeah. so um that that was probably one of my favorite parts about it was the fact that that ended up tying into the larger story and the larger strokes of where their character arcs were going yeah, yeah. what are your thoughts on the fact that these actors aren't established actors these guys are just non-professionals these are all non-actors I, I, yeah. I love it when films do that I don't know if you've seen any of Chloe Zhao's films yes uh, her film Nomadland The Rider The yeah. Rider yeah, yeah she utilises like uh, non-actors in, in roles and I think she does a fantastic job it rem- it, once again it reminded me of that and uh, I, have to, I have to give props to the, to the director here <laughs> because I feel like when, when it handling actors on a normal day is a difficult thing, yeah. um, but to, but to be doing that with people who aren't trained in this sort of thing, that's an extra challenge. But you, you could not tell because everything was so authentic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, Yusuf Yusuf Kukur, he said um, he made a great statement because um, Hashi done an interview with him, and he made a really great statement. He said it's hard for directors directing professionals, and the issue with when you have like non professionals in movies, it's not so much directing them, it's having them adhere to the story mm-hmm. and maintain it, um, obviously understand the story and sort of maintain it throughout because you could be directed to do whatever within a movie, but to actually stay true to the storyline, that's the difficult. And I did, honestly, if you, if no one told me that they weren't professional actors, I would never believe that they yeah. were not professional. Yeah. 
Yeah, Let's get into day two. That was an I, amazing day one. Yeah, I have to talk about day two. Goodbye, Julia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. That, that Let's was, get into yeah, it. Yeah, go on, man. Goodbye, Julia. Business. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, listen. Just even before the movie started, right? So first of all, this is it's a Sudanese film directed by Mohamed Kordofani. And just before the movie started, seeing all of the Sudanese people coming in to the cinema, I think that was the most packed night that I'd seen personally. Like, it was full to the brim. Yeah. I had chill seeing that. Mm. Honestly, it yeah. was pretty amazing. And, like... This movie obviously means a lot to me as a Sudanese person. It was uh, set just before the secession of South Sudan. And um, another reason why it means a lot to me is because when uh, their leader, John, South Sudanese leader, John Goering died, we were actually in Sudan at the time. And riots broke out. Wow. And my parents were actually in kind Whoa. of the middle of it when they were, they were driving through and stuff like that. And they got pelted Seriously? with like bricks and things like that. It was crazy. And then to see this, this movie and this, obviously like the representation, seeing everything, the language, all of that stuff, like the setting, the mm. clothes, all of that stuff, it meant so much to me. And I just enjoyed it. I was glued to the screen for the whole runtime. Fantastic can, can movie, I, Can honestly. I ask, yeah. as, a, as a Sudanese person, what does it mean to you to see representation on the screen? That's the thing. Like I, I can't think of a Sudanese actor working in a movie in the Western world, like in English movies. I can't think of it. And this wasn't exactly an English movie or anything like that. But yeah. just to see it and to see it like um, uh, viewed in London, in the West End, it's like this is incredible. Great venue. This is just in- yeah. This is incredible. I can't believe more people need to see this movie. Yeah. And I just I jumped on Letterbox immediately, and I just saw people's reviews and stuff like that. I was like, "This is this is amazing, man!" Yeah. But like, I, honestly, I I couldn't recommend this movie anymore to people. Like, people yeah. need to watch it. The premise is great. Uh, it's very compelling. Yeah, like I said, it keeps you glued to the screen the whole time. Just fantastic. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it was exactly. really, really good. It was it yeah. was it was fantastic to watch as well. Obviously, yeah. while she was doing the interview, yeah, you had such like a a sense of glow in regards to when you're doing interviews. Yeah. I've, I've seen you like interact with uh, movie goers before and it's almost like, oh, you're just happy, we're, we're great to be there. It's almost like a sense of pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you was interview, like mine, um, obviously um, Sudanese people, yeah. like, yeah, it, it, you really, you, it really showed yeah. how much it meant um, yeah. when obviously on, on video as well. So yeah. that's brilliant. The man. elements of racism in it, all of those kinds of things. And you can just see like, there's like a cultural, not a cultural gap, but there's like a gap between like, uh, the, I guess like the generation before me and before that, and then there's us as well, where yeah. it's like there's this beef between South Sudanese and North Sudanese people and things like that. And then our generation, like people my age and whatnot, they think of it completely different. Like we're all just, this is everyone just get along. Exactly. All, yeah. Everyone just loves each other, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, but you have that like in the movie, you can see from the husband, there's a lot of like racism mm. and, that's true to life. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I saw a lot of that when I was in Sudan. So yeah, no, that that movie was honestly very, very well done. I think though. the whole purpose of a festival like like uh, the that like was, Myth yeah. is the fact that you can have moments like that. Like yeah. it yeah. was, I've it was so packed. It was crazy. Like yeah. there was no space to even move. Literally, even do, even doing the interviews is, is almost like you was kind of like trying. You was tripping over yourself because there's so many people. There. I hadn't seen that many of these people since the wedding. <laughs> Honestly, it was great. It was so no, it was good. Great. <laughs> it was fun. Let's jump into day three. I think it's I think arguably the, my favorite. Uh, the second film of the night was Hesitation. Uh, with oh, okay. the Turkish film. The Turkish film. Yeah. Which was a very good film that kind of gave you an understanding of the economic kind of plight of the country okay, okay, okay. and stuff like that. It was a kind of legal drama yeah. Um, yeah. that kind of ended on a real cliffhanger yeah. kind of thing. Had a really, really great shot at the end kind of thing. And again, the Turks kind of turned up for that film as well. Yeah, oh, I mean, we saw a few. The lead Turks. actress, I want to get her name because she, she was, was very good. She, she completely fantastic. carried the film. Yeah. Oh, she, she was very, very good. I'll oh, get her name cool. in a second. It but again, day two was an incredible day. Day two, honestly. Tulin Ozen. Tulin Ozen. Yeah. Big yes. shout out. Big shout out. I don't want to miss Tulin. Tulin. Tulin Ozen. But yeah, so let's jump because again, I've had, there were some absolute gems throughout. This is for day three, yeah? Day three. Yeah. And obviously, we're not going to do anything because we're going to get. By the look, way, the panels. In between, oh yes. By the way, you had yeah, BFI. Good. You had BFI we as had a BFI. Well, yeah. we, we, we had BFI oh, there. Can I go? Sh- 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 um, shout out, Melanie yeah. Hoy. Melanie Hoy. We see, you, we see you. <laughs> yes. we want you. on. We want you on the pod at some point. She was great. Point. She was fantastic. Yes, she was really nice. Yeah. Just, just very informative because yeah. a, a lot of people from our community won't actually know a lot of this stuff. Mm. A lot of us don't even end up going to f- uh, film school and whatnot. A lot of what we learn of filmmaking and stuff comes afterwards. I, I, I 
got to go to film school um but i know i know many people who didn't get that opportunity so things like this i remember when say uk muslim films uh, started all those years back sergeant used to ask me a lot because i'm kind of the youngest one in the, in the group he used to ask me what would people like to see from this sort of thing and i would i would always say i feel like budgeting and and funding that is like prime mm -hmm. yeah. for people to to to, to learn about um because even 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 me, I still get confused about stuff like that. So for to have the BFI come in, uh, sort of talk through that, there, there were loads of things that I didn't know that they even Sergeant was surprised about, and I think it, it, it was very informative and very helpful mm. um, in terms of how to get your film funded. Yeah. yeah, the BFI New Talents panel was one of the most informative panels. It was a real kind of like panel that really could inspire someone because you could think, okay, there's an actual route for me to be able yeah. to make a film. Yeah. Like if I just follow these steps, yeah. if I apply before the deadline, yeah. there's a there's a very good chance yeah. I could get it as long as I put the time in and put yeah. and put together a great script. Be, be, being in the film industry, sometimes it just, especially when when you're from a background like this, it feels like you're just staring at a brick wall the oh, entire yeah. time. Yeah. And you're so just true. like, how do I how do I get through that? You, like you can't go through it, you can't go around it, yeah. so you just feel like you're stuck. But like you just need, I feel like it's communication and just uh, and constant things like mm -hmm. this, like panels like this, yeah. which, which help people break through and and understand like how to how to make these films a reality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's that's actually, I'm um, speaking about sort of funding that them, um, Asana Noor and um, Tam Taminas Sadiq. Yeah. So they made a short call. Um, in Let me pull it up. The it Dark, um, in the, uh, See You in the Dark. See You in the Dark. Yeah. Fantastic short, fantastic yes. short. Yeah. And they um, were on the panel, they were speaking about sort of funding and obviously they had to, they had to draw on the resources of the community to get this this short made. Yeah, um, a lot like of crowdfunding. A lot of cra yeah. crowdfunding, and obviously there was they they said their their final scene that they wanted to shoot in Canary Wharf didn't happen, and they had to sort of think on the spot to sort of get their ending, which yeah. ultimately mm -hmm. made it the movie made the short that much better, in my opinion. Again, it's something that we will talk about, and hopefully we'll get them on at some point. But yeah. I, I guess panels would be a fire about funding is fantastic for again people know how to sort of get their movies made and stuff like that also sounds like it was your idea oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm 100% taking credit for this <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah. but yeah can we, can we, can we talk about let's, the, come the with shorts. Shorts. let's talk about shorts hey listen I'm putting my hand up for the call and, R and Riffy Riffy Powell she's going to come on here she's going to talk Riffy so and Ahmed we can't wait to have you on I don't want to talk too much about it but as a Jamaican man bro I put I, I, I put pride on this one. So I which one was this one? Because this is the reckoning the of hearts shorts. Yes, the call. The call, uh, the call uh, directed by Rafi Ahmed. Okay. Rafi Ahmed. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic movie. Again, I I I I'm I'm a I've got a, I've got big beef with um, any sort of Jamaican representation yeah. on screen and the accents wrong. Yeah. Um, this one was this one was fantastic. So again, <laughs> there was no gripes here. There's no gripes here because it's almost it's it's British it's British Jamaican. So there's no gripes here. But I think it was a great great um, body of movie because body of work because you now as a Jamaican I'm thinking because you see what you had with the Sudanese film yeah with this I was like felt pride I felt pride yeah because it's not just based it's not a, just a Jamaican thing it was almost like I had a connection with the young and old the message of the movie young and old and appreciating what the old had done for us and like sometimes you feel like um in, your parents or your, your ones, the ones who are looking after you, don't have time for you. And then to understand as an adult, life is not so easy that you have to put in work to. So adults miss some of these moments with their kids, and yeah. and almost it's almost like um now kids are looking after the the adults again. I don't want to get in too much because I want to have this discussion with Rafi Rafi Ahmed when she comes on. But that is argu that was arguably my favorite um short. Of, of day three. You can tell these directors did their research. Oh, big time. Did yes, big time. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, I think the next one was Muna. Muna. By yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. By what? Yeah. By what? Yeah. Fantastic. So Muna, so, so, obviously as a Somali, I was extremely happy to watch that film. Sorry, I think so, I'm so sorry, Hash. But do you, do you, this is why, Sajid, honestly, it's a big shout out. This is why it's needed. Because each and every one of us has representation. Yeah. You have a touchstone within the festival of something that was like different films as well. Literally us, yeah. So go for it, go 
I think it was a fantastic film. It was so well done, like on a technical level. All these films are great on a technical level, but some of the camera work, like being this not being an action action film or anything like mm-hmm. that, just being a kind of little quick drama, basically, was so good. And a lot of the, the things that happened in the film would, would very much happen in Somali household. I think the one thing was that I'd have issue with, only one thing is some of the Somaliness, <laughs> if that is a word, was kind of a bit kind of sanded down on certain aspects of the film. Mm-hmm. But it made sense overall to kind of tell the story, yeah. but that's just me kind of like uh, you know what I mean like picking nits. The you know whole I mean? the whole movie. But again, it was so good. It was so so good. Like like the brother is like that's my cousin. That yeah. guy is basically my cousin. You know what I mean? So that, that that's how accurate that was. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But again, again, the the, f- the ending of that short was fantastic. Yeah. You know what I mean? How it was open ended in a good way because you know that it's not she's gonna be okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Again, outstanding. I was, I was just about to say the whole movie. I was literally, Hashi was glued to it while he was. He was almost. I kept nar- telling him all the Somali things. Right? He was narrating and he was like, "Okay, yeah, this." Like literally, he was fixated while talking to me. So he, <laughs> I'll tell him. I'll tell was, him. Yes, the, the, the granddad would wear that. Yeah, 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 that's would, exactly would. what my granddad <laughs> would, would, used to wear, kind of thing. And I'm, I'm there trying to get some sort of understanding. So, 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 so what? And Hashi's like, "Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they'll do." And yep. Yeah, Oh no no she's going through it she's going through it and then all the family like he literally <laughs> told me everything he he could have been the narrator of this movie it was, that good. <laughs> it was fantastic man I, I I loved it what I love about it as well it it was so relatable in the themes of of death and, and whatnot yeah. and in terms of losing a loved one and for for Muno, she's never met met this yeah. this grandfather of hers um, and even when you have met them you still have this like feeling after they go where you don't know whether you knew them exactly e- yeah. even if you had met them yeah. but like um I-, I felt i found that ending incredibly relatable and and, re- and very touching as well yes because that's such a huge thing in the somali community where you have parents from back home or relatives from back home who have died and you have no connection to them and you have to kind of sometimes put on a performance of sadness yeah. to your parents because these are people that meant something to your parents yeah. but meant nothing to you kind of thing. Yeah. And then for her to kind of get a connection from what her brother like, showed her about her grandfather, that was really cool, man. Honestly, it was, it was a very, very good short film. And mm. imagine for a film, short film to, to, to kind of put you on that roller coaster of emotion in such a short period of time, Standing, honestly. Nice. What's, what's your? F- uh, maybe let's not go day by day because obviously for time. We, we time. can't. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we'll yeah, be yeah. able to go through what's all your, the movies. What's your, fa- what's your favorite uh, movie of the entire um, festival? Of, of the entire. Whether thing. it's a short or. Oh. Short. Um. There were some, know, some I, good ones. I had a problem like figuring out which one I liked. So like on on the final day when we had Echoes of Resistance, which was a collection oh. of films on that day, oh. like. I remember turning to Coulter afterwards, and she she said which one her her favorite was, and I was like, oh, do, we, do we have to pick a favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I did. I walked out with Hashi, and I was like, they actually got better and better. Yes, yeah. each one was getting better, but I was like, they they can't keep this run going. For me, this I have crazy. to shout out on the second day, so the, the series of shorts, Echoes of Resistance. I got to shout out my boy Yellow Elham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, Elham. yes, yes. Um, Our winner, by the way. For, yeah, for, for, for well yeah. deserved. Yes. Honestly, an amazing short film. I like. I told him at the end, like, I have to show this to my to yeah, my yeah, yeah. to my mom, mm. to my sisters. You know what I mean? Bro, it's yeah. Such a powerful film. Suddenly, TV. As soon as I saw the Sudanese flag, I was like, again. <laughs> I was like, yes, this is crazy. I was like, this dude, is amazing, dude. I learned so much about Sudan that yeah. weekend. I learned so <laughs> like I I was so uneducated on the whole <laughs> uh, on on the country, and yeah. I, I feel like like that that to me what was so was so powerful about the entirety of myth. Which was the fact that it was educational yeah. mm. to this really large extent. Uh, f- first off, like we were saying before, like there, there was such a range of different backgrounds in this, yeah. mm. and a lot of people have this this idea of the Muslim community just being brown folk, yeah, yeah. and it, it just just a, either Arabs or, or a very Pakistani based. Yeah, so it it was so refreshing that we had films. From everywhere, yeah. we had yeah. Turkish, we had Morocco, we had Sudanese, North yeah. Africa, Somali, East North, Africa, yeah. West Africa. It, it yeah. was everywhere, and we got to show. It, it, I was so excited when non-Muslims would come in because I was just like, you, you get to see <laughs> what the extent of our community <laughs> yeah. is. It is not as two-dimensional. Yeah. Not, yeah. It, it, it is not as as that as you think. Yeah, um, and you get to see so many different sides of it and yeah. how different people practice and how pe- different people think. Yeah. Um, Fil- film to me is all about perspective. Like yeah. film is perspective. No, of course. Yeah. And so you get to see 
so many different perspectives on life. Yeah. And that what 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 was so exciting to me. Yeah. Could well said. Honestly, like suddenly TV as well, like it was incredible because it was like it was almost like a documentary. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it's like you had these people with like the resistance almost like and they're protesting and they made a camera out of boxes mm-hmm. and they're just walking around talking to other protesters while obviously a camera is also filming them no, of course. and they're just interviewing people and things like that and I was like this this premise is amazing man yeah, I would have never it. thought of this in a million incredible, years it? it's incredible. so good there's incredible. some great stuff man. I like, think I obviously we'll, we'll talk about obviously the closing night yeah. film which is in camera but I want to talk about my favorite film which is Empty Nets the Iranian I knew film. you was going to say that because <laughs> me, when we watched that we literally that was so it, it literally touched it, it touched you differently because I was thinking fair the movie was quality the movie was quality I think similar to Inshallah Boy I was literally oh. turning to you turning 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 to you turning to you when I was watching Empty Nets mm-hmm. just saying oh, can, you, can, you, can you believe this yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> how is this happening you know what I mean how even Inshallah Boy Inshallah, boy, that's another one that was incredible. like this blew me away. Hey, like, I think empty, empty nets like hit me right in the feels. Yeah, 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 yeah. because it's something that I've experienced in my own life. I've never seen that kind of love. Hash was like this. I was like, Hash, don't worry, man. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. Because, bro, <laughs> imagine bro, movie. this brother basically was trying his best to try and get enough money to be able to marry to marry this girl. Yeah, you know what I mean, and like. Every single constantly going through hurdles, <laughs> everything going wrong. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My guy tries to make money, you know and I mean, he goes down the legal route. She's not happy because why are you making money this way? <laughs> but the whole point of him is to make money so they yeah. can get married, and she's not appreciated. Hey, you know what? Th- how you think? Th- this is why, honestly, Myth was. I can't thank Myth enough because yeah. even for me, behind the mountain, it hit yeah. me so different. Yep. And so we were, different. Imagine we were tired. You know what I'm saying? We we had a full day of interviews doing content you know what i mean for the podcast for the festival and then we sit down for this film and we were just absolutely transported, transported. and we were just locked in like for me I, again go behind the mountain the connection obviously i, I obviously the, i don't want to go through the premise but the connection between a father and a son and again what's beautiful it it sort of it's it, it speaks on mental awareness in the islamic um field as well or well, islamic muslim community, yeah. muslim community um but it was fantastic. Honestly, I it broke my heart to watch that movie. Yeah. Because he wants to be seen, but clearly he's going through some stuff. Yeah. And ah, uh, honestly, that and the call, the the sign off on both of them was similar to me, mate. It was just brilliant, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, it's great. So we talk about in camera because we ain't got oh, much in time camera, in camera. camera. Well, we yeah. need to talk oh, about in camera. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. In camera, uh, Nak- Nakash Khalid. Again, we had did an interview with him. Fantastic person. If yes. you oh, yeah. Incredible yeah. human being. Yeah. He's gonna come on the podcast. Such a nice Outstanding guy. Outstanding yeah. human being, honestly. Yeah. And we were very lucky to get another interview with a star. Um, Amir and Mosri. Amir, bro. bro. I, when we spoke to him and we were like, hey, do you mind coming on the podcast? He's like, yeah, of course. He's like, he's like yeah, just um, insta, just DM me and stuff. He gave me his Instagram. So I was like, he's not going to respond. The guy responded a few hours later. I was like, oi, And then followed you back what? straight away. And then followed you back straight away. And he followed me back. I was like, this guy's great, man. Fantastic guy. Bro, bro uh, the... These are the most genuine people yeah. I've ever met. Yeah. Like, like you know when you you see certain celebrities again, celebrities are fantastic. When you see certain celebrities, you know they're occupied. You know yeah. their days are filled. But even though their days are filled and they're occupied, they these guys still, still was happy. able to give us their time. And Amir's gonna be Nassim Hamid in a movie coming out. Yeah. I can't with wait with Pierce Brosnan. And as a boxing fan, I, can I cannot wait. wait. I cannot he had wait. just finished filming it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, he, oh, it's amazing. I even want to shout out uh, Moscow. Now and then, man. Yeah. By, uh, by Harris. Uh, Harris uh, Alvey. Oh my. There's but so anyway, much. Look, there's so much. But we'll, we'll talk. Though. Let's talk about Closing Gala, man. Closing Gala was great. Yeah, no, the speech that Sajid made at the end as well. Like, um, that was emotional. You, you see, he got emotional as well, and like we all gave him a standing ovation and stuff like that. And I even got emotional a little yeah. bit, yeah. like him saying that stuff, and the Quran verse at the end that he <laughs> ended it with. Like, it was incredible. Honestly, like hats off to him. He's How crazy done. is that though? Like, like we are in Odeon West End, like we're in the centre of London, of London yeah. and someone's reading the Quran. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 right, yeah, at, at a film festival, right, you know? yeah. Yeah. And, and not even the English translation, like fully reading out like An Arabic, Arabic, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, like it's so unheard of, yeah. But uh, you, you were saying like Sajid was getting emotional, and it was, 
I feel like it, it felt like a whole collective team effort and not just from us, from everyone just mm -hmm. attending. Yeah. Yes. Like, it felt like the community had really come together yes. for, for that weekend. Yeah. Um, for, for the creative community, especially when the, the Muslim side of it, whenever, well, we're, we're never in the same room. Mm. So like when I was at film school, I was, I was one of few, few Muslims there. I, I really mm. felt it. Yeah. And so I used to talk about Muslim representation a lot. And so I felt weird speaking about it. And I, yeah. I, I felt like I had to over explain it. And I felt like people weren't getting it. Yeah. And so and so you really do feel that sort of loneliness. Mm. And so it's like stuff, it's falling on deaf ears. Almost. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And and so something like this, whether it be the networking events UKMF did last year or, or more specifically this now, we, it's so bizarre when you're in the same room as everybody else who's just like you. And we all have that same experience of feeling like an outsider mm. in situations like this, mm -hmm. you know, especially at like film events when they're serving alcohol or whatnot. Yeah. And, 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 and you feel like, OK, I'm not really part of this, but I am mm. kind of here. Yeah. But now we were all in the same room and we were all on the same page. and We were all talking about film and we were all Muslim as well. Well, most of most of us were Muslim and it was it was bizarre, but yeah. just in the best way. Yeah. And it's it's one of those feelings that I'm never gonna be able to shake off because yeah. it was it was so overwhelming for me yeah. to finally be in that sort of that environment. Yeah. It was it, such a moment. Yeah. Yeah, it was such a moment. Ah, uh, by the way, the mocktails at that closing. <laughs> oh my god, they were so nice. <laughs> mocktails are so nice. The lamb chops is I mean <laughs> The wings? <laughs> the wings. Oh god, they're so good. But guys, we have to wrap this up. Yeah, we have to Shall we do the quick fire with Hadi quickly? Yeah, shall we do it? Yeah, give me I a did, I'll yeah, do a yeah, quick yeah. fire, yeah? Yeah, Quickly, sure. Yeah. All right, we've got like quick five questions. Number one, what's your guilty pleasure movie? Guilty pleasure movie, uh, Grown Ups. Nice, okay, good. <laughs> That's a good Grown one. Okay. Great. I've never heard that one. That's a fun one. It's a fun one. That's a fun one. What is your favorite movie? What is my favorite movie? Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Woo! Yeah, you know, it, it, it's a weird, it, like people expect like Pulp Fiction or yeah. something like that. Yeah. To be fair, I always have that. That's the one that they have puberty. That's when they go through puberty kind of thing. That's the one where they all grow up in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. It, it, it's it, a good film though. Yeah, it's it's really important to be like on a sentimental reason, but also on a filmmaking level, it, it, it it's taught me a lot as well because the filmmaker behind it, Alfonso Cuaron, is one of my all time yeah. favorites. Yeah. Um, but I'm also just a massive Harry Potter fan. Sure, so yeah. we need to pull him and dad up. Oh, in the same I remember <laughs> we had the um, the Zoom meeting that we were doing, and you had the pillow. Yeah. The oh yes, I and did. Sack yeah. called you out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is he doing this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, who is the best actor alive at the moment? Act man or woman? Any? Um, who, in your opinion? As of right now. Yeah. If it, it's gonna be really funny because I couldn't list all his films before, yeah. but I'm gonna say Ryan Gosling. I, I, I feel, I feel, I feel <laughs> Someone like, else said that. Yes. Yeah, that I was Kenken Ken and um, it was Kenken. Ken. Yeah, yeah. Kenken Ken said wow. it. Wow, yeah, nice. I yeah. really do think it's Ryan Gosling right now. Nice. I think he has so much range, and he's yeah. so good comedically as well, yes. which really helps him out. He can, he can do serious roles and yeah. also do comedy. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Last two. What is a film you wish was deleted from existence? Like you got your time back. Um, <laughs> film delete. Oh. How long do we have? Um, <laughs> film deleted from existence. One, the, the one, the oh, one. Is there one that pops up into your mind? Uh, I, I could get either very, very Muslim about it or I could like be like, my, my fanboy side of me would just go for like a comic book movie. Go for it. But, Give uh, both then. Uh, comic book movie wise. No, no, not even comic book movie. I would say like franchise one. Uh, I, 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 I wasn't the biggest fan of uh, the second Fantastic Beast films out of the Harry Potter stuff. Oh, fair. But, um, whoa, 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 whoa. For some reason, he likes them. He whoa, loves no, them whoa, so whoa. much. I like the first one. No, no, no. There's no redemption here. Keep that, keep that, keep that. Uh, Another one? I, 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 the Muslim side of me is saying American Sniper. See, uh, American Sniper we can work with. Yeah. Take that makes down, a, man. That's crazy. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that so, makes a yeah. lot yeah. of sense. Uh, Crimes of Grindelwald quite literally broke me <laughs> as a fan. <laughs> All right. No, no, man. Last one, last one. We got to round this up. <sighs> what is the last great thing you saw? It can be either film or TV. Last great thing I saw. Yeah. It, it does this include like the myth stuff or just It can be. Thing. It can be, yeah. Um, last great thing I saw. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pull up some of the films from myth. But, Represent, uh, man. Yeah, I... I there are so many films from there that I just I just just really hit me. Mm -hmm. Sky Peels was one of them. <sighs> um, Goodbye, Julia obviously was one. Hounds. Yes. Um, you can't name the entire. Yeah, yeah. It's the whole thing. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
thing. It's a whole thing. I, I don't. I can't pick from yeah. from that stuff That's because I, I just I just connected with so much. Okay, yeah. the myth lineup then. The, the myth lineup. Line oh, line line there you go. The whole myth lineup. That feels like a cop out, but like it is. It feels like a cop out. But, uh, yeah, no, that was good. Thank you, yeah. um, guys. That was our Muslim International Film Festival review. We had Hadith with us. Hadith, thank you so thank much you for being here. Thank you for ha- having me on here. We'd yeah. love you to have you back. That would be great. Yeah. And um, yeah, get down in the description below, socials, websites, all of that stuff is going to be there. Um, and let us know in the comments what you think. Go and watch these movies. Honestly, that, the ones that we've mentioned. Sort them out, please. They are great, great movies. Honestly. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you know the videos are coming up. (laughs) And we'll see you guys for more reviews, discussions, games, all of that sort of stuff. See you soon. Peace. Peace. Peace.